What is up my friends, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at SonyScore's newest library called Roki. And this is, uh, this kind of reminds me of their previous library that they released called Loki, which is I believe like um, the felt piano version of this. And it's kind of funny because it sounds like the Marvel character Loki, but um, Roki is is interesting as well. So uh, Simon from SonyScore kind of reached out to me and let me know that they just released this. And funny enough, I had just picked up the, uh, keyboard in blue from cine samples recently as well and i think that's also an electric piano um like a road type of thing and so it's, it's just really nice to see you know more appreciation for the electric piano coming out um i know that you know keyscape has a, a one in there a couple in there and there's i'm sure many other libraries that cover electric pianos but it's always nice when you have a, just a, a nice simple piano electric library and so uh, big thanks to Sonoscore for sending me a copy uh, just to take a look at for you guys and to play over. And just so you know, the intro price here is $39, but the regular price will be $69 at the time of this recording. And it does require the full version of Contact, just so you know. And uh, th here they, they kind of have a, uh, a quick description of it, but there's over 20 or there's 20 velocities of each of the keys, which is really nice. So pretty, pretty deeply sampled. I believe when I downloaded this, it came in at just over one gigabytes. Uh, one gigabyte of samples. So before we really get into playing it and seeing how it sounds, uh, I want to give you my sample library buyer's guide if you don't have it yet. But essentially, it's a collection of all of the sample libraries that I personally recommend um, in regards to like orchestral stuff, piano stuff, like jazz libraries, ethnic libraries, all that good stuff. A ton of people have been just asking me like, what libraries do you love to use? And so I thought rather than explain it in every single video, I would just give it to you as a free guide. So if you want to click the link below, it'll take you straight there where you can download it right away. And it's my thank you to you for watching this video. Anyway, let's kind of dive in and um, let's see the let's see the what the piano sounds like. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to play a little bit. This is really my first time going through it and we'll go through the different uh, different presets. And then we'll also play with some of these knobs as well and see how it sounds. So here we go.
All right, and that's a quick look at Sonu Score's Roki. Thank you so much for watching. I think you would agree that overall it has a very warm and rounded tone to it. Uh, kind of, um, I guess I guess a lot of electric pianos feature this type of sound as well, but it really feels like Sonu Score really dived in and embraced the warm nature of this, this electric piano. And also you'll notice that the range is a little more limited, right? So it has kind of a... A kind of a, a slightly more than four octave range, which is not as large as the entire piano, but it still is, uh, you know, it gives you room to work with, which is really nice. So just keep, keep those couple things in mind. The overall sound signature is on the warmer and rounder side. So you're not going to get a ton of high end or anything like that. I mean, you could always do some post-processing EQ, but the sound signature that comes with the library is pretty much baked in. And then the, the range itself is not as wide as a regular keyboard, but uh, what you do have should be more than sufficient for most purposes. And so, yeah, let me know if this type of thing interests you. Um, it's really nice to see, again, uh, an electric piano under $100, uh, relatively affordable for sure. And again, big thank you, Sonesco, for sending me a copy to review for you guys. I definitely think that, uh, you know, in addition to Keyscape and a keyboard and blue from Cine samples, there's more and more options nowadays, and you can really go super in depth for a big library, or you can get the very basics. And I think this library really covers the basics. They give you 20 velocities per note, which is wonderful. Um, and it's just over a gigabyte. So it's not very large at all for your sample library uh, comparison. Anyway, let me know what you think of this library. I personally would love it for a more intimate settings, maybe even for like lo-fi stuff. Uh, I think it'd be really cool. But yeah, if you if you think you would use it for different different applications, please feel free to let me know in the comment below. And in case you don't have the sample library buyer's guide yet, I want to give that to you totally free. Again, it basically categorizes all my personal recommendations in an easy to read list. And I kind of um, separate it by different sections, different categories of instruments, and also by prices. I list them there as well. So you kind of know what you're investing in and how much to put into uh, your purchases. So it's totally free. If you want to click the link below, it'll take you straight there. And again, it's my thank you for watching this video. So I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video and see you then. Bye-bye.